Here's the intake manifold that I'm working on for the uh, heads that I'm going to put on. So the idea is putting on uh, 305 heads on a 350 uh, small, block Chevy, uh, small block Chevy engine and uh, that should increase my compression up to say 10 to 1 if everything was sealing properly. I don't know, the, the engine's probably got 150,000 um, uh, kilometers on it so it might be a little bit lower than that but uh, that won't be bad either because then they can run some pump gas maybe instead of having to use octane or uh, 93 octane to uh, to start it with but uh, you can buy aftermarket uh, intake manifolds for these things uh, they're carbureted um, and uh, they're really nice but they're kind of expensive they're about uh, 250 300 bucks and then I'd have to get it shipped here which would cost me another 50 or so so I don't know it's budget build this intake manifold actually came off of uh, the where I when I pulled the Vortec heads and I got the heads in this intake for free. So I thought, what the hell? I try and uh, modify it to um, so that I could run my throttle body injection. Um, I haven't ported these heads or the uh, the intake uh, ports uh, on the manifold yet. I've done the heads. But I still have to do, I have to uh, port match, uh, I got a gasket, and uh, match those. I haven't done that yet. But we're going to the, uh, the actual intake part of it. So I originally just had like a big box, and then uh, Terry, I was talking to Terry, uh, that's also before me, said that that probably wouldn't work, uh, just because uh, you kind of need runners, and that's how, a, you know, the normal intake manifold off the carburetor or TBI who actually works as just runners that goes to the port. So I said, okay, well, let's take it back to the drawing board. So anyways, um, this these kind of funnel, I haven't grounded them down yet, but just kind of rough fitting here. Um, so these would go to your uh, ports, and I'm hoping this all works. Works, but I mean, if you guys have any ideas, uh, let me know on what I should do. So everything, these here aren't sealed. So basically, the sealing edge will be like the how it originally is uh, on the intake manifold. Um, will be this edge. So I have to weld pieces in here, make it all airtight, and so then all your vacuum will be going through these uh, ports here. Um, I got a big piece of heavy 3 uh, 16th uh, steel here. This stuff here will just be filled in with uh, sheet metal because it just needs to be airtight. And then I have my 454 throttle body, which will be mounted like so. Uh, actually, it'll be the, that's the front of the engine there. Uh, I'm going to leave all these sensors and stuff in place because I think they just are sealing. I don't need them for anything, but uh, the only thing I need is I think this line here goes to my power steering. So the power steering goes in through here, and I'll have to just make a, another little connection into uh, into where there's actually vacuum to activate that. Um, and I'm kind of hemming or hawing whether or not I should not make it uh, plumbed into here because I don't know if it's good to have wood gas going into that um, but that's how it works on the engine right now and it hasn't had any problems so I think I'll be okay so I'll just kind of plumb a line from here into the uh, uh, airplane of a thing so each there's two injectors on this one two and it will sit somewhere in the middle uh, right over so each injector will feed um, each side of the engine which is how it works in a s dual plane I guess uh, intake manifold so I'm hoping it works. If it doesn't work, then I didn't, I'm not really out anything. I'm just out my time and uh, a little bit of welding uh, material, but uh, this is just scrap I had laying around and uh, just out of wire and MIG, uh, MIG, uh, MIG gas, I guess. So 
Um, and then I'll just buy the aftermarket intake and that should work. Basically, if you buy the aftermarket intake, it's a carbureted, so you just have to buy a uh, plate uh, that adapts the, the square uh, uh, carbureted uh, intake to a TBI, and you should be able to run that. There's guys uh, that are already running something like that. So, I, mean, I just thought I'd let you see what I'm doing. Oh, I guess I can show you the heads. So, uh, here's the 1305 head. You can see I did a bit of porting on the uh, exhaust. Oh, I haven't done those ones yet, sorry. It's the other ones I've done. Uh, so there's the exhaust valves. A little bit of porting there. And we'll, we'll oops. I can give you a picture. I guess, or intake, intake and exhaust valves. I really ground the exhaust valves down nice and flush so that uh, we're not flush, but I mean more rounded. These aren't your typical uh, Vortec uh, intake valves or intake um, ports, I guess, um, in that they have swirl ports, uh, which I don't know, I think it'll actually help with wood gas. Basically, they have these here so that. Um, it's supposed to mix the atomize the or mix and atomize the the fuel and air better before it goes into the cylinders, uh, which might help uh, with mixing wood gas and air type thing. So, uh, on I have another set of heads that I was going to use. These are the actual um, uh, 062 Vortec heads, which are off the 350 block, and you can see. Um, don't have the swirl ports. They just they're a straight uh, straight runner, and uh, they have a bigger valve too. But I'm thinking I do have the valves from these, and I could get the 305 heads machined uh, to take the bigger valves. But really, not. I, I I don't really care that much to be honest. I think it'll work just as good with the smaller valves. I think they're 1.84 valves, and the 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 um, vortex are like 1.9 or something. I don't know. Very very close though. I've I've put them together and uh, very very close. Um. So yeah, it's too bad I couldn't use those because I originally had those, but they had the cracks in them, eh? In the exhaust seats, so. Um, it might actually work out better than what if I use the uh, the 305 heads, uh, like I say, with the added compression and whatnot. These are 059 castings, um, and they came off, I don't know what year of, I think it was a 97 1500 uh, GMC Sierra. Um, and like I say, it had the, the intake, and it was a Vortec motor, so... Um, Anyways, anyway, we'll keep plugging away and uh, I'll let you know on any more progress. And once we get them on, I don't know when exactly I'm going to get them on, but it'll be soon.